I'm gonna cheat a little bit and have a little bit of this. So this is what happened. All of you know I've been waiting very patiently for the re-theming of Fantasyland into Beauty and the Beast for the new Emma Watson Beauty and the Beast movie. You know that, I did a vlog on it. Beauty and the Beast. I made sure I was there on the first day that the Red Rose Tavern opened. Standing right in front of the new Red Rose Tavern. Today is the first day it's actually official. As you can see right here, they have replaced the center tile. This used to be Pinocchio, and now they have a rose. The only thing I really noticed was the signage has changed and they are playing Beauty and the Beast music. And of course, some of the windows here. Everything else looks pretty much the same. There wasn't no people, there was nobody around. I'm afraid this is gonna fly open and the Beast's head's gonna fly out yelling at me. The Royal Reception gift shop is pretty much the same as it was last week, so I think they pretty much changed that first. Everything in this store is Beauty and the Beast. The animated version and the live action version. I have an hour to kill before the restaurant opens. I'm gonna go do some Ask the Princess episodes and I'll come back. I came back at 11.30, about a half hour after the restaurant opened. And guess what? So instead of going home and being completely upset that I missed the first day, I did bump into my friends at Disney for Two, and we went to Maurice's Treats. Maurice's Treats is a little snack bar there in Fantasy Fair. It doesn't light up, just the top there. Yep. Here comes the money. Great stuff. It's delicious. I knew I had to go back and try the real thing at the Red Rose Tavern. So I went back, I wanted to see Gaston, I wanted to taste the gray stuff, and maybe, just maybe, see the beast. I can I want to show you something. It's a little treat just for you. Unfortunately, you can't taste it. But I am here sitting in front of the very, very sought after gray stuff. It's like a cookie on the bottom and a pastry on top, kind of like a cream. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, it looks very pretty. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and have a little bit of this right here before I finish my sandwich. Oh, I don't know. 
There's actually red velvet cake inside. This is my conclusion. Sugar wafer, red velvet cake, with a cookies and cream Oreo cookie birthday cake frosting on top. That is what this is. It's very good, but I cannot eat the whole thing. These bubble wands are the most popular thing here at the park. There's bubbles everywhere. I'm okay with that because it's Ariel. And anything that Ariel endorses, I'm a fan of. I could show you I can sit here all day in Fantasyland and watch all the activity. It never gets boring. Gaston yeah, had much bigger muscles. The luckiest girl in town. What do we all think? Yes? yes. Where are my cheers? Woo! Now, before I walk away this way and break your heart, I know. You shall cry, but I shall leave you with this. <laughs> The beast is on his way out. He's coming. These people are waiting. No question today. No question. No question. I just want, I tried the gray stuff. Oh, what did you think? I think it's delicious. <laughs> In the end, it all worked out. I can fly.